That earpiece is so distracting. Uh, anyways, today we're gonna try to install a custom ROM on the Moto E 2nd Gen. Now, I already did a video going over this thing on the stock operating system, and... <laughs> It did not go well, <laughs> just just click in the corner if you want to see it. For the custom ROM on this thing, uh, I kind of want to go with like Android 7, maybe 8, uh, I'll see what I can take, but one thing I want to do on this thing for sure is de-google it, because it runs bad enough as is. Either way, uh, let's get started. Dude, I just started this thing up and you're already ramping up the fans? <laughs> Why do people use Windows laptops? I mean, uh, it's, I, I guess you can run games on Windows. You can pirate stuff too. It, wait, actually you can run 32-bit apps as well. Maybe there's a few reasons to still use Windows actually. Anyways, uh, let's get researching. Moto E Gen 2 Custom ROM. Uh, I mean mine's black, but I don't mind race mixing. And yep, those are the amazing specs we're working with. Snapdragon 410 and a gig of RAM. Oh no. And the most recently supported version of Lineage OS is actually Android 10. Uh, do I want to? And uh, this thing's running Android 5.1, so I mean, either of these versions are gonna be an upgrade. Uh, let's see what the Discord server thinks, actually. And ping. There we go, and let the votes roll in. Oh, uh, by the way, if you want to have fun like this and chat with a bunch of like-minded people, don't forget to join the Tech Talker server. Uh, link is in the description. So, uh, I've got the Lineage OS build archive up, and I found a bunch of versions for this phone. Uh, the only thing we need to do now is figure out what the people want. And majority say Android 10. <laughs> Why do you hate me? Well, 17.1 <laughs> it is. Let's download. Alright, so next up we just need Twerp for this Motorola, and bingo, there it is. Alright, let's download Twerp. Last updated in 2022, wow, I'm surprised, people cared about this piece of shit for that long? Alright, so we've got both the files we need downloaded, now all we gotta do is read, which, that's not my strongest suit. Make sure you got ADB and Fastboot, that's a yes. Enable USB debugging, I already did that in the previous video because it did not ship with the files app. Okay, so I'm like one minute into the installation progress and we're already running into an issue. Uh, Lineage OS builds for this device require an Android 6 version. Um, I'm running 5 on this phone. Failing to install the correct version may result in permanent damage to your device. Um, I don't care. All right, and unlocking the bootloader. Uh, let's hope this works, because if it doesn't, uh, well, if you're a frequent viewer, you know what happens. All right, so we got the files that we need in this directory, Moto Lineage and Twerp Moto, so we should be good now. Time to fire up command prompt. On the computer, open a command prompt and type this command in. Uh, sure. Oh, uh, I guess I should allow USB debugging first. That would help. All right, and let's run the command. Oh, okay, the phone turned off. That That's a good sign, I hope. Uh, oh, I've never seen a menu like this before. Uh, okay, so, new issue. I'm spamming the fastboot command and it's not finding my Motorola, so, uh, did, I guess new driver time? Yeah, hey, it finds it there, but it's just not communicating with it properly. Uh, let's just hit up Motorola support then. What the f***? What is this stuff? So, to use this website, I had to log in with my, uh, my Google account, and now I have to do all this shit? Like, really? <sighs> okay, let's just follow the instructions. Let's download the USB drivers from Motorola. Okay, installation complete, and now the phone says transfer mode USB connected, which it didn't before, so we're getting somewhere. Okay, you gonna find it now? Oh, there we go. Okay, back to what we were doing. To get your device ID, put your device in fast boot and spam this, okay? Okay, so th that's my code, I guess. To generate your unlock code, you need to paste all of these together without the bootloader or info thing. This is like a full-time job. Why can't you just let me unlock it? They should be paying me minimum wage for this. I feel like I'm sorting out an Excel sheet. Okay, looks like it worked. I'm scrolling down and it says request unlock key. So <laughs> we're good. Let's hit yes and go. Unless you have a developer in- I don't care about my warranty, I was gonna break this thing anyways if this didn't work. You should have received an email with- an email? With, you can't just show it to me? Okay, so I got the key copied, now all we gotta do is run fastboot OEM unlock and then paste the key in there. Fastboot OEM unlock bootloader check allow OEM- oh, <laughs> I'm stupid man! I mean, how could I forget to do that? That's like 101 of doing a custom ROM. W whatever. Oh, wow. Uh, Google Play is running this much in the background. Yeah, we're definitely going de-googled on the Lineage OS install. All right, let's try that unlock command again. Go. 
Oh, yeah, wow, okay, 11 seconds later and completely unlocked. So, let's see what we can do now. Installing Lineage Recovery using Fastboot. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to find Lineage Recovery for this thing, because every download is, like, taken down, so let's just use Twerp instead. Okay, so we just gotta type in this command, Fastboot Flash Recovery, and then a recovery file. Uh, I'm forgetting, what did I name it again? Oh, there you go, twerpmoto.img, so paste this here delete recovery.image and twerp moto.img enter there we go and finished okay so what now installing lineage oh wait this is for lineage os recovery uh let's quickly jump ship to the s3 instructions because that actually shows you how to use twerp to install lineage so one sec scroll down to recovery and then press volume up to select okay okay and recovery mode and go oh uh, bootloader unlocked <laughs> uh oh all right, that's Oh, let's go, twerp! Okay, so we are getting somewhere here. All right, so tap wipe. Tap format data. I gotta type stuff? Return to the previous menu and tap advanced wipe. Okay. Advanced wipe. And then select cache and system partitions and then swipe to wipe. Okay, so cache... If, if I could touch the target, it's cache and system, and bye-bye. Okay, next we gotta go to advanced, ADB sideload, and swipe to start sideload. Okay, so now we just gotta sideload that file on this. Moto lineage dot zip, and go. And it's working. Serving moto lineage dot zip. 8%. Uh, been like this for five minutes, but I guess I'll be patient. Oh my god, finally! I was just about to pull the plug on this thing and redo it, and finally we got some progress like 15 minutes later. Ugh. Okay, and after a bunch of needless waiting, it's finally installed. So, let's boot into the OS. Now, normally I would have sideloaded a bunch of G apps, but this thing is slow enough as is, so let's just get straight into it. Uh-oh, bootloader unlocked. How dare I install my own software on this thing? You gave it one update, okay? I don't want to hear it. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Lineage OS. Uh, the only question now is, how bad is this gonna run? And that actually didn't take so long. Uh, let's get set up. Uh, this actually seems pretty snappy. Restore apps and data. D from what? Okay, and we are fully set up, and let's see how long it takes to load the home screen. That's actually not bad at all. Uh, first things first though, let's make that blue light pop. There we go. Oh, that's so much more pleasing to the eye. So, uh, yeah, just flipping around the system, uh, it does seem a lot faster than Android 5, which, it's kind of surprising. I figured 10 would have way more overhead. Let's do the quick open and close apps test. Okay, not bad. Damn, this thing is actually pretty snappy. What about the web browser? Come on. Eh, a bit longer than usual, but definitely faster than Android 5. So off the bat, uh, removing Google Play services has sped this phone up by, like, a bunch. I'm, I'm actually really surprised, especially get like, Android 10, it's double the version number, you know? It should be running worse. But, uh, without Google Play services, we gotta find an alternative. A good thing there's Aurora Store. Alright, we're on the official Aurora Store app. Alright, Aurora Store, latest version. Alright, and download APK. Th this browser supports downloads, right? Oh, perfect, okay. Download complete. Okay, and let's install it. Okay, app installed. What are you looking at? All right, open. And white screen, perfect. <laughs> oh, okay, we actually get something here. I mean, this phone is slow, or at least used to be slow as shit, but one thing that's nice about it, I can actually reach the corners of the screen with one thumb. All right, and we're logged in anonymously. <laughs> you don't even need a Google account to download apps now. It's pretty cool, huh? I mean, I really want to test out games on this thing, but uh, how much storage are we working with again? Eight gigs? What, what am I going to download on this thing? Uh, pff, okay, screw it. Let's just try out Clash Royale. Oh, holy shit, that's taking up a third of my storage. Uh-oh. Roblox is only 169 megs? Okay, sure, let's try that out. Okay, so let's try out a few games to see how well this phone performs now. Uh, first up, let's try out Clash Royale. Uh, hold your breath, the 1 gig of RAM is not gonna work well. 
Oh, oh, it crashes. Oh well. I mean, if Clash Royale isn't gonna work, the Roblox definitely isn't gonna, but we can try it. Next up though, uh, let's try out Geometry Dash, because this is one game I actually ran on this phone when it was running Android 5, so it's gonna be pretty fun to compare it and see how well it runs now. Now, when I was playing this thing on the Android 5, uh, my touch was delayed like by a second and I could not play this well. Here, uh, this is actually running way smoother. I, I had no idea Google Play services made that much of an impact. Running Android 10 uh, d doesn't fix me sucking at this game, though. Oh yeah, this is a way smoother experience. God f***ing damn it! Shit game. Shit game. Get off my phone. Get off my phone. Okay, uh, next up, let's try out Roblox. This, <laughs> this isn't gonna work well. D did Roblox just crash? Oh, okay. Thanks, Roblox. Alright, uh, let's try out Natural Disaster Survival. Seems like it's working. Uh, don't crash on me, please. Holy shit. It, it's actually working. I hear the audio. I loaded into a Roblox game and it hasn't crashed. One gig of RAM, Snapdragon 410, it's still working. Oh my god. And, I mean, this actually isn't half bad. Like, I can actually scroll through the menus without it, like, stuttering on me. Let's crank it all the way down and see how well it works now. So, uh, keep in mind, I'm just in the lobby, but this is actually... It's actually not that bad. I feel like it's running around, like, 10, 15 frames a second, but honestly, for 1 gig of RAM and how old this thing is, plus it's a budget model, uh, that's pretty impressive. One other quick test I want to do is just see how long it takes it to load the website. Uh, let's see how long it takes it to load the MacBook site. Come on, come on. Oh, there you go, there's the image. Okay, so that took around like 10 seconds to load, which I mean, it's not bad for a device of this age. I mean, the old web browser, I don't even want to know how long it took. So uh, yeah, that's about it for this video. Uh, do I recommend doing this? You saw the video, yes, okay? I mean, if anything, it's really surprising to see how much Google Play services puts a hamper on these older phones. Uh, if you can, I do what I do and just install Lineage OS with only Aurora Store and then download all your apps from there. This is... <laughs> It, it's way snappier than it has any right to be. Either way, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you later.